supraventricular tachycardia. We can think of it like an orchestra performing a symphony. In a perfect performance, the conductor, which we will call the sinoatrial node, sets the tempo and rhythm, ensuring that each section of the orchestra, such as the AV node and Purkinje fibers, all play in perfect harmony. Together, they instruct the musicians, cardiac electrical cells, to synchronize their actions, creating a beautiful melody we call normal sinus rhythm. But what if, during the performance, a rogue musician, an ectopic beat, or a re-entrant circuit decides to play at a faster tempo? Suddenly, there's confusion among the other musicians. They try to keep up with this rogue performer, but a cacophony ensues as they struggle to maintain a unified rhythm. This chaotic and rapid performance parallels SVT. In SVT, an abnormal electrical impulse originating above the ventricles causes the heart to beat faster. The intensity and duration of this discordant symphony, or SVT episode, can vary. Sometimes it's a brief self-limiting event, which is like a rogue musician who quickly realizes and corrects their mistake. Other times, the chaotic rhythm persists, and that's when healthcare professionals need to step in to restore harmony. In managing SVT, healthcare professionals act as seasoned backup conductors, taking charge of the performance, identifying the source of the discord, and guiding the orchestra, which is the cardiac electrical system, back to its normal rhythm. This could involve techniques like the Valsalva maneuver or carotid sinus massage, which can be thought of as the conductor's subtle instructions to bring the musicians back in sync. If the disarray continues, we may need to resort to administering medications or performing cardioversion. This is akin to a conductor stopping the performance and starting over, ensuring that the symphony of the heart plays smoothly and harmoniously once again.